welcome to English. Comprehension focus for this week is author's purpose. Every single book written by an author is written for a specific reason. It's written to entertain, inform, give us lots of different information, and persuade. You guys are familiar with these because you have all written stories. You wrote your narrative story, uh, which is to entertain or give information. You wrote your informative story, so you research and give us lots of information about your animal or uh, your piece of art. And you also writ wrote a persuading letter. You wanted to convince someone of something. So as we read different books, it's important for us to know why the author wrote the story for one of these three reasons. We're gonna read a book and we are going to figure out why did the author write this? And then you guys are going to get to write to read your book for this week and figure out what the author's purpose was. Hi everybody, welcome to Storytime with Miss Juliana. Mrs. Bryn talked about our three author's purposes. Entertain, inform, and persuade. Your job is to be a detective and decide what kind of a story this is and what the author's purpose is. Is it writing to make you laugh? Is it writing to tell you information? Or is it writing to persuade, to make you want to do something? Let's go ahead and take a look at our book. Our book of maps. and John. They like to draw maps. Do you know that you can draw a map of anything? This is a map of Lucy and John at the table. It shows everything on the table. The map has been drawn to looking down at the table from above. So it shows them and all the stuff on the table. John's bedroom. This is John's bedroom. He has lots of things in his room. This is a map of John's bedroom. It shows where things are in his room. Which things in John's bedroom are not shown on the map? You see anything that's not on the map? I don't see the puzzle that he's making on the floor. You're or right. his clothes. That's also on the bed. Cool. Or his shoes. His room looks much neater in the map. Mm -hmm. Lucy and John's house. This is Lucy and John's house. There are many different rooms in the house. This is a map of Lucy and John's house. It shows all the rooms in the house. Which room is Lucy in? Where is John? Lucy is in Lucy's room, because I can see it on the map. And yeah. John is in the living room, because I can see that on the map too. Yep, yeah, he's sitting on the couch and she's on her bed. Lucy's model. Lucy is playing with a model. It has houses, buildings, streets, and trees. This is a map of Lucy's model. Look at the buildings, streets, and trees. What shapes are the buildings? What shapes are the trees? Uh, the buildings are rectangles, and the trees kind of look like broccoli. They're just like little green lumps. They do look like broccoli, maybe weird green clouds. I don't know what shape you call that, that's good. The way to school. Each day, Lucy and John walk to school and walk home. These are some of the things they pass on the way. Their house, the park, the town clock, a church, and then they get to school. Route means the way that you go to somewhere. This is a map of the way to Lucy and John's school. It shows all the things they pass on the way. This is called a route map. There's their, their house all the way to school. I pass the soccer field to get from my house to the, the school. Ooh, that would be a good thing to have on a map. Lucy's classroom. This is part of Lucy's classroom. It has lots of desks, chairs, and windows, just like ours. 
This is a map showing part of Lucy's classroom. The map has a key to show the chairs, desks, and window. Where is the window on the map? Um, if I look at the map key, it says the window is a white rectangle and I see it at the top of the map. So that must be where the window is. Very good. Town map. This is a map showing parts of Lucy and John's town. It shows some of the buildings in town and some of the street names. All right, we have four questions. Where is Lucy and John's house? What is the name of their street? Do they live near their school? And what other buildings can you see? Holly, you think you can do it? I think this is Lucy and John's house. Mm -hmm. This is their street, South Street. Good. The school is all the way over here. That is very far for me to walk on my little legs. And I see a fire station, a town clock, the library, the church, mm -hmm. lots of buildings. Ah, very good job, Ollie. Countries of the world. This is a satellite picture of the world. It is made up of lots of small photos taken from space. Lucy is holding a map of the world. It shows the continents and some of the countries in the, of the world. Find the United States on Lucy's map and on the satellite picture. Now, we can find the US, but we can also find Thailand. That's even harder. Oh, can we I find know. Thailand, Penguin? Here's the US. Mm -hmm. Here's Thailand. It's very small. And then this is my home down here, Antarctica. Very good, Christmas Penguin. The world. This is a photo of the world taken from space. And this is a globe of the world. It shows the shapes of Earth. Can you find Thailand on a globe? Well, it's a little hard to do. You'd have to turn the globe so it can see Asia. You can find America on a globe. Thailand, you'd have to turn the globe like this and you'd find it. I have a question. What is the glossary? Very good question. A glossary tells you words in the book that you might not know so that you know what they mean. For example, the word continent means a large land mass, so a large piece of land, or a group of countries. Oh, so now I know. So if you don't know a word, you can look at the glossary. And if you need to find a word, you can look at the index. It tells you the word and what pages you find that word on. Ooh, very cool. All right, so we had a book with lots of information. We had a glossary and an index. Wow, I'm learning so much from this one book. Me too. Now, which of our three authors' purposes do we think this book was written to do? Was it written to make us laugh? Was it written to tell us information? Or was it written to persuade, to tell us to do something? Mm, I think I know. I think it was written to inform or to teach us about something. And I think it was teaching us about different kinds of maps. Very good. Now what in the book tells us that this was a book written to inform? Oh, okay. Um, Ollie's first reason about why he thinks it's a book to inform is because we got to see a map that shows us how the kids got to school. Very good, that was one informing mm -hmm. thing. Christmas Penguin thinks that it's an informational book because we got to see a map of the world. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. That was another thing. And my reason why I think it's a book to inform is because, is because we got to see a map with a key, which taught me something new, that maps have keys that teach us what the shapes are on the map. Very good. All right. Those were all great reasons why this is an informing book. Now, grade three, you've seen us be detectives and discover what the author's purpose is for this book. Now, you guys are going to read your story, Dog of the Sea Waves, and you get to be the detectives. For your assignment, tell us what author's purpose is for that story, entertain, inform, or persuade, and give us three reasons why this was the author's purpose. 